My name is Michael Badu. I'm a dean at John Adams High School, and I also teach the Model UN program. Two minutes, let's go. Raise your back. I think that we can all agree that Sudan is a country with a lot of controversy. The president of Sudan, Omar al-Bashir, is currently being indicted for crimes against humanity and war crimes because of his connections with the Families in our community face a lot of challenges economically. It's a military regime and the south is more towards a democracy. And our Egypt to the north, Ethiopia to the east. And our students are always highly intimidated by students from wealthier communities. The dominant tribes, the Junjuid and Dika, are engaged in a constant state of violence. 2,000 deaths for every 100,000. One of the main reasons I started this program at John Adams High School was I just wanted them to realize they have the ability and the tenacity and definitely the intelligence to compete with them at the same level. Many difficulties, his economic sector is increasing due to his most important natural resource, crude oil. We had to figure out like a diplomatic way to bring about this information and give it to the other delegates in a way that wouldn't seem too controversial, but just to, we still had to let people know what was going on and that I think that was the most challenging part for everyone. Not all high school students have with them everything that they need to become successful adults. No idea if 55% of people that is enrolled in school you know, put emphasis on the numbers. That way they know that there's serious stuff going on. There's a disconnect between the, the material that we need to teach them in order for them to graduate high school and what concerns them. I think Model UN helps bridge that gap. So what's the what's the, the overall economic situation of the of the average person? Of the um, average. Not of the country itself. Um, well, the GPA I think is GDP. Yeah, the G D oh GDP. <laughs> oh, no. You have um, a GPA. They have a GDP. Um, okay, go ahead. The, G, the GDP. Is it like, really helps our students gain a connection um, to the community outside of Queens, New York, um, because it, it it brings their mindset out of their comfort zone. And the lack of resources in the nation, the nation find it very difficult to sustain a fruitful educational system. All countries wishing to ask questions, please raise your packets. How do you plan on stopping the propaganda caused by the diversity of the tribal groups within Sudan? I could sit there and I could preach to a student every single day you need to graduate, you need to come to class, you need to do your homework, you need to do this. But unless they have that emotional connection, which they want to do it, your chances of success are, are very limited. But by having a program like the Model UN program, you're creating that emotional connection for them. I know that not all the people around the world will like me. While you're there, there's only a couple things I wanted to keep in mind. Spartan spirit, Spartan pride, <laughs> Spartan tradition. Not everybody likes what I say, particularly when I am critical and I'm criticizing or condemning those violations of human rights. Two, three. Who are we? Spartans! Who are we? Spartans! Living in truth takes courage, it means being willing to take a stand for belief, even when those beliefs might expose you to disagreement, controversy, or sometimes even prosecution. 
Sudan is not an important illicit drug producing or drug transit country. One of the largest land mass of any African country, but a high diverse ecology, high agricultural production patterns. The world we all live in is being woven more closely together every single day by trade and technology and things like Twitter. But it also means that we all face a new breed of threats that can cross borders as freely as a storm. But just by being here today, you're doing something already very important. You've put in the time to study the issues, to understand parts of the wider world, to grapple with the challenges facing your nations and your generation. So we need you now to get in the game. I now declare the 2011 Global Classrooms International Model United Nations Conference open. Thank <laughs> you.